Hi, today I have another video about population genetics and today's problem is in population of pea plants the frequency of the toll that is capital T height allele is 0 0.8 and the frequency of the short allele that is small t height allele is 0 0.2 what is the probability that a plant will be capital T capital T uh, capital T small t and small t small t and in order to solve this problem we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula and here is a formula this is p squared plus 2 pq plus uh, q squared equal to 1 and in this formula for p squared we have uh, frequency of the alleles that is capital T capital T or uh, homozygous dominant here we have frequency of the heterozygous that is uh, one capital T and small t and for q squared stands frequency of the homozygous recessive so small t small t and frequency of the all alleles in the gene pool equals to 1 or we also can say that 1 equals to 100% and P plus Q equals to 1 so uh, let's use this formula in order to find all the frequencies and this is very easy as long as we know that the frequency of the capital T in this gen pool is 0 0.8 and frequency of the Q allele would be 0 0.2 so uh, we can find frequency of the Q squared we just have to square this number here and this would equal to 0 0.2 squared or this is going to be 0 0.04 so now we know the frequency of the Q squared so this is this number and now we can find a frequency of the P squared once again we just have to square the frequency that is 0 0.8 and the answer would be 0 0.64 so now we know the frequency of the p squared or homozygous dominant so here I can put uh, frequency of the homozygous recessive here would be frequency of the homozygous dominant and now it's very easy to find the frequency of the um, heterozygous we just have to multiply 2 by number p and by number q or this is going to be 2 multiplied by 0 0.8 and by 0 0.2 and the answer here would be 0 0.32 and this is going to be frequency of the uh, of heterozygous that is capital T small t so we gave uh, all the answers now I hope you would be able to solve this problem without any problem and by the way uh, all these answers we also can uh, check so we just have to add this number plus this number plus this number and we should get 1 so here we would get 64 0 0.64 plus 0 0.32 this is going to be 0 0.96 plus 0 0.4 this would equal to 1 so this is exactly the number that we have here or we also can uh, give our answer as percentage we just have to multiply all these numbers by 100 or also we can 
transfer this comma to two decimal places to the right. So here we would have 4% and here in second line we would have 64% as an answer and here we would have uh, 32%. So now if you add all these numbers you're going to get 100. So this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.